Hey everyone, uh, today at Shed Ring we've decided that now that we're putting our Fowler Road system in and we've had a bit of time to play about with it, um, it as it turns out, slapping it all down and hoping for the best and kind of just winging it isn't really going to work. We're actually going to have to do this in a professional manner. And by that I do mean we're going to use cardboard and a knife and a compass, which gives us the radii and whatnot that we need. So I'm going to hand you over to the man himself that's doing it. Uh, he's going to give you a quick walk and talk through on how it's all going to be done. Hi, uh, just to let you see how we do the road system, uh, there's some bits there, uh, the curve section, and I've drawn up a junction, part of a crossroad section, but we'll show you how to do that later. Uh, basically what I'm using is one mil thick card, get it off of eBay, relatively cheap and our road system is approximately 10 centimetres long, uh, wide sorry. So all I want to do is what I mark out my cardboard to 10 centimetres and we want to do it both ends, that way we're going to true. So, do that. Join your dots together. Now, to make a half decent road section, what I've done is, I've looked at it and I want to measure in two and a half centimetres from the side. So, two and a half centimetres there, and two and a half centimetres there. So, that's basically a guide for where the wire's going to be. And if we can find a bit of road as well, in fact I'll just show you on some of the road that we've got printed off and laying down at the moment. So we'll do that, two and a half there, and then one, two and a half there. Right, so basically, right, there's my two centimetres, two and a half centimetres. Join the dots together, once again, to let you see the line that everything's going to run on. Basically what we're doing is we're going to embed the wire, that's the wire there, we're going to embed that in and so it's basically go lie there and then you won't have the bump so when this part of the pickup here hits the wire it won't tend to slide to either side of it, it's going to be a flat surface that's running on. So if we turn the camera around, we've actually got some the road system that we were basically winging it on. <laughs> and just to let you see, uh, that's going to be your road basically about there. This is actually narrower than what it should be. But you're between the white lines, plenty of room for everything to pass each other. Now, to do the grooves, Basically, what I do is, next to that line that I've just made, I'll make another one. So I'm just making my initial line about, I reckon it must be for about, yeah, it's about a millimetre wide, which is roughly about what your wire is. Now, any standard knife has to be really sharp though. Uh, in fact, I need to cut the blade off of this one. So if my assistant passes me the sidecars, I'll cut the blade off of this one. Because you really need a sharp knife for this one. So basically, what you want to do is go to one side of your line. Then just lightly run your knife down. You do not want to cut 
all the way through so I'm just basically letting the weight of the knife do it. Turn it round, go to the other side of your, your line and do basically the same thing again. Just lightly let the knife run down because if it's a really sharp knife that's taking a good good cut and if you do that you can actually see cardboard wants to bend at that. Now I put the knife at an angle and I just slide it down one of my cuts and I just keep doing that until on my way down to the bottom turn it round and go to your other cut that you've just put in and do the exact same thing again and as you can see the cardboard's coming out quite nicely and there we go and we'll take that out basically and you should have a not too bad a depth of a line what I do is if you've got I don't know use your fingernail or whatever just run it up just to give it a little press down give it a wipe off get your wire and lay it in the groove now if it's right you should be able to do that and you're not catching it and as you can see it's not catching it it's not go full either side of it so basically that's one part of it cut your road to its desired width which like I say ours is 10 centimeters wide and that's all you do there and when you do your next section if you do the exact same measurements again and as you can see one A4 sheet will do two sections of road just mark it off 10 centimeters wide again so if you mark it 10 centimeters wide go in two and a half centimeters either side same at the other end draw your two lines and just basically do what I've just done there and that gives you a complete straight section uh, <coughs> I've also done a curved section which that's basically the curved section there and what I've went and done right uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make a curve section now this was basically just guesswork uh, I had to get the radius right so the likes of bus would go around without trying to come off it wasn't too tight for it but I didn't want to lose too much space so basically what I done was I took my straight road section that I had butted it together with that one with an A4 sheet we just put drum pins in it just to hold it down to the cutting mark just now because this is a bit we don't want to be moving about now I had to guess <coughs> what sort of radius it was what I done I used a lot of things I used round tubs whatever whatever I could get my hands on then I decided no I'm going to try the sensible thing and use a compass so basically what I done was I got a compass I actually bought two that way I had the two different radiuses you'd be actually better off keeping that one as your A4 size because this is the reason why once you get your compass set up, that's for the outer one, this is for the inner one once you get your compass set up what you want to basically do is give yourself an idea of what you're running at there and we've actually set these up just to let you know, we've written it down here it's here, uh, I've marked it out and inner what I've basically done is I've set my outer one at 14 centimeters, my inner ones at 9 centimeters. So, working between those two sizes has given us the correct distance between each one. So, basically, what I then done just got one compass and I set it to the road 
to the groove that I'd already cut. So it's sitting, sitting nice and flat to that groove and you just want to basically move it around like that. So it will be shown straight there. Then I got my ruler, I went to the edge of that one which we've just drawn, take that drawing pin out of the road just now, I went in 5 centimetres, which has given us our other uh, distance between the track. So then what I want to do was, I'll just double check this one, which is there, 14 centimetres. What I then done was, I got that lined up with that, then I just kept on moving it around. Right, I'm off that line a little bit there. So what I want to do is just move the compass up a little bit. Come back across to here. I'm in line with that one. I'm in line with that one. This is why you should always draw, put drawing pins in. Hold everything down. Which don't exactly do well on a cutting that. So what I done was I done my 10 centimetre gap between my two lines got my compass at 14 and a half set it up so it sat on that track quite nicely and I wanted to bring it round so it met up with that one so it was just a matter of moving the compass a little bit if it's out that way, just move it up that way, but keep it in line with where you had it there. And then the two should meet up, which they do. Basically, what you want to do is same thing again. Just run your compass round. So that's basically giving me my two lines. So that's my two curves. Now, it's up to you whether you do on your street corners, square, like that, or get your compass again, set it up so you've got, say you want to keep the same distance at the top of your board, these drawing pins are not the answer. Uh, you want the same distance at the top of your board there all the way around basically set up your compass and just draw it round and that will give you a distance there do the same thing again for your middle one or sorry for your inside one just set it up to there and just bring it down. Now what we found was if we done it that way for the inside when the bus comes up it will actually come over there so we actually mucked about with it a little bit and made it less of an angle as you can see on that one it doesn't quite match in because we altered it a little bit for the buses to run round so the back end of the bus sits on that quite nicely. <coughs> and that's basically how we've done that. To cut it out is the only problem. Unless you go out and get a cutting compass. Which we don't have. You have to be quite good with a knife. Because basically what you're going to do is you're going to cut it freehand. Joy. So what I've done was. I'm not too bad at cutting it freehand. Don't press too hard, just nice and slowly, take it round, follow your line and turn the cardboard over and come back down the other side. Give yourself, because it's on the curve, just over a millimetre of distance. 
and just keep bringing your knife in. Doesn't matter if you go a little bit squiggly. Uh, it shouldn't affect where the cars and the buses are going to run. It will just make them look like the drivers are drunk. So it's just the same procedure as the other one. Just back round with your nice sharp knife all the way round and just groove it out. If you're doing it and you find that you are actually going through you're pressing too far you could always just get a plain sheet of A4 paper and glue it onto the back and that will save it. So basically that's that there. And if we take that bit and the previously done bit, put the two together, which meet up quite nicely. Find our bit of wire that we had lying about, which is here, and just lay that in and just press it in all the way around and just check it, make sure it feels alright. If it feels alright, have two or three bits of masking tape because that's how we hold it on. Have two or three bits of masking tape lying there so you can hold it with your two fingers like that, pull off a bit of masking tape and just put it over it. Then just work your way around and down, right to the end. And that's it. Right, as you can see, that's your curving straight, that's how you do it. So what we'll do is, we'll do another part where I'll show you how to make up this lovely junction where your cars can go from your main road like that basically use this as an example car comes round and goes there or the car can come round and go that way just like an ordinary crossroads I'll show you how to do that in the next one and how to make up a T-junction. Okay, right, hope you enjoyed this little video and hope you watch the next episode.